Galaxy Z Fold 3 is no different. Hi guys, Thunder E here, and thank you for joining us on the channel. If it's your first time, hit the subscribe button and the notification icon, because right now we're talking about gaming on the Z Fold 3. So the Z Fold 3 brings in a lot of really cool, unique features that make gaming completely different. First off, you've got two displays on this device. You've got an outer display, it's a bit narrow, about, you know, 6.7 inches, but it gives you enough real estate to game. But when you open up to that 7.6 inch full display, that is a ton of real estate to actually game on. And we like that. And we know this device can perform. It's got all the hardware we expect, you know, the triple eight, you've got 12 gigs of RAM, all that fun jazz, all, it's, it's all there. The main thing people have asked and questioned is, how well is that under this under display camera uh, shaded away while gaming? Well, take a look. It looks absolutely amazing. And especially when you get into games with different colors, maps, areas, it looks really good. And it allows you to feel like you're using a tablet for the first time that doesn't have a camera on screen and has almost like edge to edge coverage. I absolutely like that. When it comes to gaming itself, of course, we took a look at some of the games we like and also some of the services we like to use. Now, this video is gonna be a little bit different from some of the things we've done traditionally uh, because I wanna show you some of the gaming performance using uh, my very favorite uh, gaming software, which is Geekbench. Now, with Geekbench Pro, you can see the way the games actually perform. And the very first game we took a look at, of course, is Call of Duty Mobile. Now, this is not a graphically intensive game, we know that. Uh, but the performance that you can see, it stays steady at 60 frames. And you can also see the load usage of the CPU as well, which is nice. But it also, when you move back to the gameplay itself and you look at it on screen, it's really fluid. That 120 hertz display on a folder of the display is nice. And I like the fact that I, I mean, as soon as I started gaming, I didn't feel like I was touching something that was, uh, you know, was gonna break or was a little precious. This screen is really solid and that gameplay experience uh, really showcased quite well with Call of Duty Mobile. Now, let's move over to PUBG Mobile, something a little bit more intensive, right? And again, performance here while playing Ultra HD um, Ultra, uh, we got a steady 40 frames per second, something we know with the Snapdragon 888. And you can see on the charts there, the CPU load is actually pretty low here on this and performance is steady at 40 frames per second which is really, really nice. Now, before we get to Genshin Impact, which all of you are thinking about, I wanna also talk about something that's really unique with the Galaxy uh, Z Fold 3. So you've got a larger display and you've also got a small display in front. You can switch gaming between both displays. Now you can start with this, uh, you know, your large 7.6 inch display and close your device and switch to the small display, or you can start from here, vice versa. Now. I can tell you this, if you're starting from the smaller display and switching to the rear display, it is much uh, a fluid experience and it works really well. Now going from the internal display into the front cover display, some games don't work too well like uh, PUBG, which tended to just change resolutions and kind of oversized sometimes and sometimes it works. So that's something to mention. There's of course ways to force applications to do that. But again, this is something developers have to take note. Now, Genshin Impact. Now, of course, Genshin had to be played at its highest gaming settings, 60 FPS, and we got to see Genshin perform really well. Now, for at least the first eight minutes or so I was using uh, Geekbench uh, Benchmark, it came up to about 55 frames per second, and then for some reason it crashed. I really don't have no idea, but I continued directly on my device. And I was able to use GPU Watch, which is within developer mode on the Z Fold 3, and you can see it stayed between 51 to about 55 uh, frames per second, which was really nice in terms of performance, and the game looks really good. Now, I will say this though, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, a lot of games do not scale properly on the Z Fold 3 uh, because the resolutions are much lower. Genshin really takes full advantage of this display and it looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, the next thing you're gonna ask me is what about temperatures, right? Is this thing super hot? Does it feel like I'm carrying like hot bricks in my hand? 
The answer is no. I mean, the highest temps I got while playing Genshin Impact for that period of time I mentioned, uh, between about, say, uh, say, about 15 to about 20 minutes, uh, was 105 degrees, so it ranged between 103, 105, and most of that was centered around uh, the camera area, this other side of the device, which I believe that's where the processor is housed. So that is something to take note, but I love the temperatures were much lower than, say, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So this handles those kind of gaming opportunities really, really well. Now, moving on to some of the streaming services. Again, this doesn't take performance into account, but it takes usability into account. So I, of course, jumped on Xbox Game Pass. I was able to play Ascent, which is a new game on the system. It's a really nice top-down shooter. Uh, I just started playing it and it looked amazing. It looked really good. And uh, I, I also got to use my new speaking case, the Rugged Armor case to basically kind of just tilt it and use it as a kickstand. I know they're coming out with a kickstand case sometime soon. I'm not sure when, but all, it's probably worth picking up. But it allowed me to enjoy jumping and play the game. Now, again, mobile gaming is something that we're seeing more with consoles like you know Game, uh, game Pass through Xbox, as well as also Stadia. Using on a device like this just looks and feels much better. I absolutely love it. Now, the last thing I want to just let you hear is audio. It's got two bottom firing speakers, so just take a listen. Okay, so everything about the Z Fold 3 in terms of gaming has been a great experience. One of the best things I do love is the fact that I can hold it in my hand, I can start gaming, and I have a full landscape to game on. That is a very, very unique thing that I really enjoyed on this device. Performance has been great, and overall, uh, the little glitches that are moving from the internal display to the cover display, I'm sure stuff that can be fixed, but I have no issues gaming on this device. And I know, yes, there are many devices out there that you can game on at different price points, but I'm happy to see that, yes, even though this is a, a premium expensive smartphone or foldable, it at least does those tasks that I care about quite well. Now, if you guys want to see me do some more gaming on this device and more gameplay functionality, let me know. I can do that on board gaming and some more games, so leave those games down below. And if you want to see gaming on the Z Flip 3, leave your thoughts down below as well. So otherwise, guys, thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.